my name is Beth Leipold. I'm a member of the St. Ben's class of 2015 and editor-in-chief of The Record. I'm here today with Mary Dana Hinton, the president of the College of St. Benedict, for the first episode of Inspiring Insights. Mary, I'd like to extend a welcome once again on behalf of the student body. Thank you, Beth. It's a pleasure to be with you. I'm looking forward to our conversation and to engaging with the community. So tell me a little bit about how your first semester has gone. Are you finding that there's kind of a typical day in the life of a college president? You know, Beth, when you become a college president, everyone tells you that there's a really steep learning curve. And some people use the analogy of it's like drinking from a fire hose. And that's absolutely true. And you think you understand it, but until you've lived it, you have no idea. There is no such thing as a typical day in the life of a college president. Every day is exciting and every day is good, but no day is typical. So my day can range from um, meeting with my cabinet to discuss administrative issues to going to student performances, meeting with donors, writing pieces to try to keep St. Ben's on the national stage. So the days can really vary quite a bit. This year is a particularly exciting year, I will say, because we're doing a lot of strategic planning. So what we're doing is we're identifying what our priorities will be for the next five years and the strategies and the um, pathways we'll take to achieve those priorities. It's been wonderful, but there's nothing typical about a college presidency. So what strengths do you think that St. Ben's kind of encompasses and how do you plan to continue or highlight these? And where would you like to see the future of St. Ben's go? You know, some of our strengths are fundamental to who we are. So we are a college for women, and that was true at our founding, it's true today, and it is constitutive to who we are as an institution, and perhaps even more important today than it's ever been. A second foundational strength is that we are a residential liberal arts institution. And again, that is so critically important our third foundational element is our Catholic and Benedictine heritage. So those are three fundamental strengths that we've had since our founding. I think those strengths matter more today because the landscape of higher education is so challenging. So right now there are several questions out there that we have to wrestle with. One is around affordability and student debt, and I know you're familiar with those conversations. There's also a real challenge to the value of the liberal arts in higher education, and that's unfortunate because the liberal arts are more valuable today than they've ever been. In fact, when we think about what technology holds for us in the future, there's no way we can predict what future jobs will be. But I do know that by investing in the liberal arts and by educating young women in the liberal arts tradition that we're preparing you for a lifetime of success. So our strengths are really numerous and we have a great deal to be proud of at St. Ben's. Okay, Bennies, now it's your turn. We need to hear from you. Here's my question for you. It's 2020. As a graduate, what distinguishes you from your peers as a result of your experience at the College of St. Benedict? And what are you most proud of as an alum of CSB? Join me in uploading a video using the hashtag SD2020 by December 20th. President Hinton is looking forward to our input. Thanks everyone and thank you Beth. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving break. We'll see you in December. <laughs>